Hi right, guys, we are back. Uh, I'm an idiot. I might have cheated and looked up a guide. <laughs> um, I know where I know where to go, <laughs> and I'm already going the wrong way. So that's a great start. <sighs> See, if I... right, okay, so I cheated. I looked up a guide, but that guide was for Leon B. I'm assuming it's fucking same. Like if you're playing as Claire B. It's just I am locations, so it should be the same. In saying that, I don't know how I fucking missed this. It's so like a part of me was like maybe I should re-record an episode, but no. I like I like looking like a complete idiot. Even though saying probably multiple times, I know Resident Evil 2. This is a comfortable game for me to play. So we go back down. I can't believe I had to cheat. I was like, at the end of it, I was actually like, oh, what the fuck do I do? Where do I go? Like, I'm generally lost. Should we make our way back to the police officers? <laughs> police officer meeting room? I don't know what to call it. And we look in this corner. Oh, look! Big red fucking valve. Yes. And then we'll just leave and pretend that that never happened. Ah. <sighs> Right. Let's get back up. On well, the plus side, all the monsters are kept, like cleared out all the important sections, so I don't have to worry about liquors or anything causing trouble. Alright, now this is when the game gets interesting. <laughs> da da da. Alright, bye crows again. Alright, let's turn the fire off and actually make some progress in this fucking scenario. Uh, not like that. There we go. Alright. Golden. Good work, Claire. See, I did this before, but like. Leon, we did this before in the Leon scenario, like turning the fire off. So uh, he's he's actually done it. <laughs> I think it makes more sense for Claire, and we'll see why later. All right, let's go to the helicopter. Inspector, acid round. That's not what I thought would be. Oh wait, yes it is. I know why. Now we go back. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, what's that? An FMV loading? I remember playing this as a kid and seeing that for the first time. Like actually it was terrifying just because it was it's the same with Resident Evil 3 Nemesis it adds this other like fear factor into it like we're not going back that way which I'm gutted about alright big man um what was I saying yeah it adds another fear factor so when I was younger it seemed like Nemesis could Nemesis could actually come at any point in the game. And then obviously, the all I got, you all realise, is scripted events. So you're a lot, a lot less scary. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit scared now, actually. <laughs> no, thank you. Is he? He's dead. Um, so the first time I saw this guy, I was like, fucking hell. Is this guy gonna like hunt me down around the police department? And then I thought it would. And then that was really scary. And also, 123 bullets. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we are going back this way. And then we are gonna investigate the room that we managed to get access to. Oh my god. He's alive. 
So that's Scenario B's boss. He like hunts you down around the police department and the sewers and the secret base. And that's why the creepy ass scream. Um, and that's why these scenarios a bit longer. Because you have like two bosses to fight, I think. Well, two like main bosses, I just I should say. So we've got this puzzle again. We also have the blue key card. I knew that was happening. Uh whatever. Just gonna run away from him. Let's go use the key card on the main hall computer and get access to the rest of the police station. Thank God. This is gonna be like four hours again, isn't it? That's right. Um, can I deposit anything? Pretty sure I don't need that anymore. Uh, and I should be good with like 130 fucking bullets in my handgun. Um, so, as I was playing Leon, I said there was a bit where you get certain items, like there's two, two key items you can get, but you can either get them or leave them for Claire. <clears throat> and usually I'll get one and leave the other one for Claire, but I completely forgot it existed. <laughs> I think I was more focused on talking and getting commentary done rather than anything else, but you want me, and why not, alright. Oh done. Oh done. Yes. Oh, that's what I was fucking doing. Ah, oh, um, yeah. But I completely forgot they existed, so I will begin them both as Claire, which, if I remind myself, pretty fucking handy. We are gonna go down this way first, because I think it's. Better otherwise, I think. Oh shit, there's zombies now. Hey, oh, there's actually quite a lot of zombies. Uh, I might have killed them. Shit. Mm, get me an angle so I can see. There we go. Three, four. Five. Oh, I think that one actually hit. No, fair. How's that not? Oh, that one should be dead. That's my name. He is now. Fucking yes, he's a little pick. So Leon kept on picking up small keys to unlock these drawers, but Claire has a lockpick. Has a fucking please don't get dead. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. Um, Claire's a lockpick, so she can just like pick locks and stuff, which comes in handy, I guess. And this is the corridor where you meet the liquor for the first time as Leon. I think he doesn't have ammo like he did. Oh, there we go. I'm desperate for this ammo. Discard it, yeah. Um. I want to try to do as many of these fucking rooms as possible. And get as many items in one, like, because I've already wasted so much time. I need to, I need to get as much stuff as possible with as little backtracking. <laughs> Up we go. So that is the lighter. Yeah, so Leon starts with a lighter. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this. Leon starts with a lighter, which makes a lot of puzzles a lot easier. But Claire has to find it and actually have it in one of our item slots. Which is annoying because you need it a lot. We need it for like two puzzles in the police department. I'm going to take that herb as well. There we go. Saying that, I haven't died yet as Claire, and I died at this point twice as Leon. So, 
So far, so far. <laughs> God damn it. It's because I also didn't die to there. The game was like, really, really, really want to test that. Uh, all of these files are the same. That's why I won't pick them up. So, first life puzzle. I guess the same gems. But we did this as Leon, so who's doing these puzzles? Fucking. Ugh, oh, so confusing. Yes, take the red jewel. Um, on the positive note, I was kind of like planning future LPs and stuff today. And I've worked it out. If I keep my current track of taking my. Ah, oh, fuck me. I can, like, no, I don't. But stick on the track of um, take my time with these red number two let's plays. I should be bitten by zombies, which would be nice. No, um, I should have like a setup ready for PlayStation 4 Let's Plays, so I can I can do more current games and like new release games and 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 do stuff like that and sort of retro games, which I'll be doing as well. I'll probably get to a point where I'll structure stuff completely, where like on certain days I'll do retro stuff, on certain other days I'll do. Uh, next gens and current gen stuff, um, and actually have like a format like I don't know Tuesdays and when Tuesdays and Thursdays they could be like PS4 days or whatever, and then Mondays and whatever else day I haven't said Wednesday, um, that could be retro and then Friday could be some fun like an indie game. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about doing indie like indie games. But I'm just not too, not too sure on them. So we do this puzzle again, same puzzle as Leon's done, but we do it again as Claire. I think like this game's really good, but if they just had a separate, maybe a separate half of the PlayStation for Claire to go to, and then maybe venture to Leon's half and then be like, oh, these puzzles have already been solved. You know, I think it'd be just such. A unique idea. Hopefully, one thing I haven't talked about actually on this is the remake of Resident Evil 2, which is still in work by Capcom, I believe. But I'm hoping that's how they do it. I'm hoping they do half a police station that Leon goes to, and then the like back half or something, or the front half Claire goes to, just to explain a bit more of the fucking puzzles. Coolio, right, so we've got both gems now. Um, I'm gonna go and say that, deposit my items, because I'm full to the brim. And then we're gonna call it an episode. Mainly because there's like cutscenes and shit coming up, and I'm gonna have space in my inventory for other puzzles I'm about to finish. Plus glass coming up to my uh, allotted time, which I've probably never kept to. So. <laughs> Makes sense to end it now before I get too ahead of myself. Uh, right, so there's... So this is the room... Um... Oh, that's actually just some most of you. Um, this is the room where we have the secret outfits, but not sure if uh, it's still locked, that's fine. Um, I'm actually not too sure how you get the special key as Claire. I don't know if Brad's has already loaded in because you've done it with Leon or not. Or, or not. But, oh, well, I'm not too fast for the secret outfits with Claire. I think the only good thing is you do get a revolver, I believe, which is pretty sweet. But it's not, I'm not, I'm not digging it. It's not as cool as compared to Leon. Um, but that's it for this episode. Next episode we'll use those gems. Uh, we'll head to Star's office as well actually. And meet some new characters, which will be fun. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!